Hey, good morning. Good to be here. Um, I wish I could bring some Tanzanian sun to warm you up, but maybe uh, the presentation of this uh, project as a teaser uh, hopefully will uh, get you a bit more excited um, before we uh, move on to lunch a little bit later. Um, um, as, uh, as was uh, said before, uh, this project called Strengthening Indigenous Academic and Digital Publishing in Tanzania is um, um, a project uh, of INAS and VSO. Um, I don't know how many, I mean obviously I assume all of you are familiar with what INAS does, but uh, VSO might be uh, a little bit less uh, familiar. Um, actually VSO um, originated in the UK. Um, it's, uh, I think, somewhere in the 50s. It's now operating worldwide, including the Netherlands, but also Indonesia, the Philippines, Kenya. Basically, what they do is they recruit professionals to work in developing countries to do uh, skill sharing um, and capacity building. Um, so, um, actually, uh, last year, December, I came back from uh, having worked with VSO for two and a half years in Tanzania. Um, in academic uh, publishing and their motto is changing lives sharing skills so it's a lot about um, capacity building skill sharing uh, between professionals so you work with local counterparts within your um, professional area so for example here you see uh, me giving actually an <laughs> editorial training uh, with the staff um, um, well I'm not in the picture but it, these are all my colleagues so um, he works at the library um, is a professor, Kamwaya, he's uh, the editor-in-chief of, um, of the journal that is um, in uh, OJS. And so basically they were um, uh, taking part in the training. I was based at um, St. John's University uh, in Dodoma, working as academic publishing and research advisor. Um, and because of the need I saw there, I mean, it's been mentioned um, uh, today uh, and also in the, in the um, results of the project data that uh, just was presented, um, there's a lot of needs. So um, I've seen them myself working at a, a research university and teaching university, um, but also getting involved at a national level with the publishing association and, and various institutions in Tanzania that are involved in um, academic research. Um, so basically I, I, I saw a great need there, lots of opportunities um, and um, <coughs> Um, there was a, a, a pilot project, uh, which was a research project that was set up with uh, the help of um, two uh, MA students and a local uh, academic uh, publisher and organizations um, that were based locally. Um, and from that uh, came the project that I'm, I'm presenting here. So I want to talk a little bit about um, introduction and background, um, who are the people involved or the organizations and the goals and objectives of the program. Um, so the project it, it's, it's focuses on strengthening indigenous academic and digital publishing um, because um, we wanted to see with the uh, not only university presses and academic publishers, uh, there are a few commercial ones in Tanzania, uh, but also with the universities to see if um, platforms can be created to uh, promote uh, academic publishing um, that is done in a local context. Uh, and is relevant uh, to solving um, development issues in the country itself. Um, and we wanted to do that um, through digital publishing because there's a lot of things happening in um, Tanzania and East Africa. You have Kenya, you have Rwanda, um, Uganda. Uh, things are moving very fast. Everyone has mobile phones, they, they have mobile banking on phones, um, they use it to access the internet. Um, and of course, not everyone is connected, literally wired to the internet. Um, there, there are lots of developments um, that could um, strengthen um, academic uh, publishing and um, in, in a digital way. So the project itself um, is a two-year project. Um, it's co-funded by INASP and VSO. Um, it will start in January 2014 and in um, December 2015. So it's 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 a it's a it's not a one year short project. It really we're taking the time to uh, look at um, different areas. Um, there will be a VSO professional involved uh, who will work with uh, local stakeholders and local counterparts. And I'm very happy, Mike and I, maybe you can <laughs> raise your hand 
uh, who is here. We sort of uh, lured her away from Springer, so apologies to any other Springer colleagues here, but uh, she will start in um, January, so I'm very happy about, uh, about that. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about who are the fund, well the fund is, uh, I've already mentioned, but the, the, the local uh, stakeholders and the project partners involved, because I think that is really the strength of um, this project. Um, I put all the locals there, so Michael will actually be based at the Tanzanian Commission of Science and Technology, which is a semi-government institution who has not only good connections to uh, the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology and Communication and Innovation, but also has close ties to the university. So they work with the Tanzanian um, Commission of Universities as they have all the contacts with the researchers and um, the research institutions, but at the same time they can have influence um, at policy government level. In, uh, located in uh, Kostek is the Dar Technohama Business Incubator and uh, from the World Bank probably you're familiar with it, there's a lot of projects going on for incubators in these countries. Um, Kenya is a lot uh, of incubating on uh, technical innovation is going on there and in Tanzania this is a project sponsored by the World Bank. Um, they have InQB, so it's, it's, it's young entrepreneurial um, graduate students or business people that have an idea and they get an, um, an incubated time, say three months or a year or a startup, um, some to actually, if they have a good idea, to execute the idea. So that is done in the Tar Dar Technohama business incubator. So because they are based at Kostek, uh, for the project it will be really strengthening, bringing the research together with the digital innovative ideas because they will have the people there that, that um, can help think through those ideas. So that is also locally uh, structured and supported. Then you have the Publishing Association of Tanzania. Um, it currently has about 50 members. Um, there's about 28 um, uh, I mean, there's some commercial, most are um, active educational publishing. So a really tiny part, maybe only three, four, are active in academic publishing because most of the academic publishing is done by um, universities and university presses who are not a member of the publishing association. So I'll tell later what we'll do with the project um, to get them involved. Then there's the Book Development Council um, that, is involved, that has links with all the booksellers. Um, the beneficiaries, of course, for, for the trainings that we will conduct will be the publishers, universities, university presses, and a lot of publication in Tanzania is actually done by directors of research and publication who are based in universities, and of course academics and researchers. So it's really a project, uh, it's a co collaboration between sort of all the local stakeholders um, to really um, strengthen uh, the impact. So then the goals and the objectives, um, <laughs> we're going into the football season uh, next year. I just watched the uh, Netherlands, uh, what's it, beat Hungary 8-1, so <laughs> I thought I would go here. Uh, and when you have nothing, anything is possible, so let's uh, stay optimistic. So there are two basic uh, overarching goals. One is, and it's been mentioned today many times before, that you need to cultivate a knowledge-based society in order to, to gain development. And you can say, okay, we can wait until there's economic development, but um, if, if people have ideas, if research is being done, and it can stimulate development, um, I think we'll have to work on that. So that's one of the first goals. The other is to strengthen and promote indigenous academic publishing, um, focusing on digital publishing, um, just for the reasons that I've just mentioned. I know indigenous is a bit of a, um, it's a difficult term, I mean, southern, <laughs> Uh, but it really means that it's, it's, it's homegrown, it's local uh, or regional, but it at least um, it's, it's people coming up with their own research um, and solutions in an academic context. Um, the objectives um, that we formulated is one, to build a network of academic publishers and uh, so a consortium of academic publishers that will be um, hosted by the Publishing Association of Tanzania. Um, really bringing in the university uh, presses. Uh, the second objective is to increase the quality of academic publishing. And this will be done in, in, in several ways, to, um, through training um, and skills development. So there will be um, trainings focusing on you know, peer review, on, um, um, on sort of uh, acquisition, um, but also uh, on, on digital skills. And we can make use of the 
the Dark Tech Mahama incubator where there are already people. So we'll try to look for local trainers who can who can provide the trainers um, in the in the areas relevant. Um, we also want to look at uh, research what is done uh, in, in the context of, of Tanzania, what makes sense, I mean, uh, what are the areas that, um, that they could publish in. And the last is, uh, it's been mentioned before, lobby and advocate. So because we have all these stakeholders involved, it will be good to see what we can do at a national lo level, really try and influence, um, get uh, research formulated on the agenda and get the support for research projects. And that's why the VSO volunteer will be based at COSTEC, so they will have the right uh, connection. So hopefully we can create that forum that can support this. Um, I want to end with a quote from Nia Rara, who was the president, of, uh, was the former president of Tanzania. You can still buy on every street corner his books, his his, uh, his quotations. He says, "If a door is shut, attempts should be made to open it. If it is ajar, it should be pushed until it's wide open. In neither case should the door be blown up at the expense of those inside." Um, <laughs> So it's sort of, I mean, Tanzania is a very peaceful country and the Herrera and it's uh, a lot is because of who he was as a person. But it, it says, you know, whenever we do something like this, we really need to, you know, commit to the people on the inside and, and what their wishes are. So um, I wanted to leave you with this. I said Twenda, which is Swahili, means let's go. So the project will start in January. If you want to know more about it, talk to Mike and me and Sue Cummings, who is the senior program manager of INAS, um, who's leading... Um, is involved in this project, so um, I'd be happy to hear questions and share some more. Thank you.